looking out there lately? As opposed to the last time, yes. yes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, they're they're good. You know, we've uh, we're gonna we scrimmage a little bit tonight. Really, kind of a half and half practice, and, and uh, actually got uh, 55 live plays, and um, not counting kicking. So, we want to do a little bit of that, and then we're off uh, uh, this weekend. So, they'll get out of here and get Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, and, and then we'll come back next week and go Tuesday um, full pads. Thursday we'll be in uh, have to satisfy the third non-padded practice so that'll be Thursday and then we'll scrimmage next Saturday so um, we're down here to the end you know we've got 12 practices and, and even though it's taken some time it's moved very quickly uh, we've got some guys out there that have getting some much needed reps and, and uh, I think we're improving how about the development of the defense is this still pretty vanilla the offense you're showing them in scrimmages or I know you had a scrimmage last Saturday but how's the development of the defense? no I think uh, both teams are uh, both sides are really throwing things at each other so um, there's been it's you know it's been different uh, success at different times you know with, with some of the things that uh, have happened playing some four down and some three down um, and and moving fronts and things like that and then um, you know some new schemes off offensively so yeah I think there's been progress on both sides because you know, we've, we've got, you know, completely new scheme and terminology defensively. And then uh, really there's some, some brand new terminology and, and some things schematically offensively that are new. So um, I've been pleased with the progress on both sides. What have you seen from Justin Evans' development back there? Uh, he's good. He was sick today. He had some kind of bug that was going around. I hope it's not uh, strep or anything like that. But uh, he... Um, for him not to go, uh, he was pretty, pretty down. But uh, he's got on say he's he's having a great spring, and uh, I think that's really helped. Uh, Armani last Saturday was was really really good back in top form. You know we get Donovan Wilson back. Um, Donovan weighed in the other day at, at 203, 205, which is big for him. Um, so we'll get him back this summer, and uh, you know we'll look a little bit different back there in the back end than we have maybe. Uh, since I've been here. So um, Justin is really athletic, uh, has a lot of range. Uh, but again, he's he's new and uh, he needs as many reps as he can get. And, but he's gotten plenty uh, this, this this spring and he needs to close it out and then go into the summer, have a good summer. Um, conditioning and, and, and strength and training wise, strength and conditioning wise. And uh, we're going to have a, a lot of competition at safety, at the safety spots, Burns, uh, has been has been playing has has uh, uh, experience. Um, Justin has had a good spring. Armani's uh, getting back to real form. I think uh, the competitions helped those guys. And Donovan, you know, we'll see when he gets here. Plus the young guys we signed. So um, you know, we'll, we'll have plenty of uh, bodies back there for the first time that uh, I think uh, can. There, there'll be a, there'll be some real competition at, at the safety spots and the nickel. That you've seen him up close, uh, Coach Christensen. What are your impressions of him? Well, yeah, I've known I've known Dave for a long time, and uh, you know whether he was at Missouri, whether he's a head coach, and um, uh, you know we've coached against each other, we've, we've we've recruited, we've done a lot of things. So I've I've known Dave a long time, and uh, know uh, how he does things. I know what his expectations are, and, and uh, you know he, he's. Uh, I think you know schematically we're doing some different things up front, and uh, you know that that's that that takes a little bit more time than uh, maybe defensively just go sick them. Well, or they're going sick them. We're trying to go block them with different different schemes. So you know it's been high and low, I think. But uh, I think our guys have gotten comfortable with some of the schemes, and uh, that's why we practice. And I think you know what I see is. Is our fronts making uh, making each other better? I think uh, you know when we get out there and you've got Deshaun Hall and and uh, and Miles Garrett or, or Julian Obiohas play a lot of football out there rushing on these ends, and uh, you know inside Hardrick Walker has has improved, 
and uh, you know Alonzo is, is is in there. So, you know, I, I think it, you know there, our fronts are, are being physical and getting better. You know, we got to get all our linebackers back from from uh, from a health situation. You know, with AJ Hilliard and, and Alaka and and Josh Walker have been out. So it's given uh, some of the new guys. Uh, Richard Moore is getting a lot of snaps, and you know that's that's really helped his pushed his development. But uh, you know Richard's in a situation unlike some of these other freshmen that came in here, where Richard doesn't have to hit the field right now. And so, um, you know, to answer your question, I think uh, schematically we've 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 helped ourselves, but I think we're helping both sides. If that makes sense. What are your thoughts on the, the receiving course? We talked about the the, co the new coaches in here, yeah. uh, line and defense. How about the, the receiving I, I think uh, Ricky has Ricky has really had a really good spring. I mean, he's uh, had an exceptional spring. He's, he's been productive. I think he's finally adjusted to the position. I think he's adjusted to carrying that weight. Um, uh, he's about, I think he was 232, which, you know, you run around out there, and it's a big guy running around out there. So, you know, understanding the position, number one. But, uh, you know, we, we're going to continue to create depth and be able to move people around a little bit. You know, we've got to have some other guys come on and be consistent. Um, Josh Reynolds not being there has forced some guys into some positions that um, to make them either comfortable or uncomfortable. And uh, some guys have responded, some guys haven't. And, and you know, that's, that's, that's what spring football is about. It's, it's about, you know, finding out where, you know, not just Ratley and Christian Kirk who just got here are, but the guys who've been in this program, like Laquiviante Gonzalez, like uh, Jeremy Taboyo, like uh, Frank Ganacho, all these guys who are here, all right, now Josh Reynolds is out, what are you gonna do? And in a situation like this that happens in a game, all right, can we depend on you to, to be the player that we need you to be? So we keep putting them in that position. Um, uh, Sabian Holmes, um, those guys like that, and, and uh, Ed Pope, um, and that's a good thing to be able to do in the spring, because you know usually during the season it's too late or game time. So, you know some guys have have uh, have uh, just like anything else. Some guys have shown up in that position. Some guys, some guys haven't. A couple of those guys made some pretty big plays for you during the year last year. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Pope's. You know, Pope can play. You know, he. He, uh, he just needs to be consistent, you know, and some of those other guys didn't make big plays for us on third down. And so, you know, that's not an indictment on them. That's why you practice. And that's why, hey, look, um, when we got guys out, right, and we're maybe one or two short, we're going to put you in there with the ones and we're going to throw you the ball on third down. And are you, you know, what can we, what can we count on? And that's what, that's what really spring football is all about right now for a lot of different people, not the newcomers, but the guys who've been in this program for a couple years who understand you know, all right, what we're trying to do is you're trying to prove to us that we can trust you in critical situations. And the only way to do, do that is through putting those critical situations on people in practice and, and seeing if they can handle it. And like I said, to answer your question, some of them have, some of them have. I know there are some positives to, to not having a spring game. Are there any things that are, that are good or bad about not having a spring game? I think, you know, the fans, you know, like to come out. You know, you've, I've been places where it's not that big a deal. Um, I don't know what we have here my first year, 30,000, something like that. 30, there was a lot of folks. <laughs> I know that. So it's a beautiful day. And I, I think, you know, from that standpoint, just bear with us. You know, we'll have the stadium next year. Uh, you know, there, there was exposure there. We had uh, this national televised uh, spring, spring game with 30 some thousand people here. So from a uh, exposure standpoint, um, it's good. And from a, a fan experience standpoint, yeah, I think that's what you miss. But you know, it's nothing that we don't want to do. It's, it's just out of necessity. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, next year we'll, we'll have a spring game. And, and everybody will complain because we'll water it down and we'll split it up and then, you know. So maybe because of these last two years, they'll just appreciate the spring game. How about that? So I don't get ripped for watering it down and not doing this and that. So there will be complaining. It always is. But you know what? You know, maybe 
A watered down spring game is better than none. I agree with that. How about that? Coach, did you know Randy Sims? Excuse me? Did you know Randy, the judge Randy Sims? I, I did not know Randy Sims. I heard about that today. I, I, I didn't know him. Um, I wasn't here then the first time. I mean, didn't really run into him. But uh, uh, I, I heard about it today, and that's, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's tough for any Ag because he, you know, I know of him, I knew of him, but did not know him personally.